guys. Good morning. It's early. Huggy's at work. Kids are still sleeping. Got me some coffee. I said, you know what? I'm going to sit down and make a video. And I had a great idea for a video. So this is going to be um, a Barbie video because, honestly, I haven't really done much of anything else. Yeah, a lot of unfinished, unworked on projects going on, which is not me, not typical. But I just don't have the energy after working all day. I don't. I don't. Between the kids and the and work, it's just like, ah! So, anyways, um, I did go to a sale last week. I told myself I wasn't going to go to this sale. Wasn't going to go. Wasn't going to go. And then what happens? I drove my ass there. Drove right to the sale. It was advertised as... Well, first off, my um my very favorite estate sale you know company in the area has a storefront, and sometimes if they have like quarter houses or extra furniture, like they have a shop front kind of store thing, and they do it there. So they were having a doll sale there, so I'm like, oh, you know, I gotta go. And there was no pictures at first. There was just like the list of um, you know, brands of dolls, and I was like. I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> so I was like, this can't be good. All I knew was Barbie. Everybody else, I was like, no. And um, when the pictures came up, I realized I don't know who they are because they're collectible porcelain dolls. And I was like, oh, God. do I want to go? Do I want to go? Not really. <sighs> the picture of the Barbies, they were all crammed together on the table so you couldn't see what they were. And I was like, I should go in case there's like silk stones there or something, you know, mixed in that would be good because I couldn't tell. I wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to go look at the Marie Osmonds. And the, I wasn't. I went, you know, I, I'm weak. I was like, there's Barbies. I got to go. So I ended up going and it was like the second or third day. I think it was the third day. I don't know. So I got every, what I got. I got like, for I think, a pretty good deal. Um. There's a lot of like, you know, the Victorian waltz and, you know, Victorian stroll Barbie and a lot of like holiday Barbies and stuff like that, which I just can't do. So I ended up buying some reproduction Barbies, which typically I don't buy because I think I have kind of like an aversion to them because of that first, that first reproduction Barbie, which I think looks nothing like a Barbie you know, nothing like a vintage Barbie. So I've always kind of steered away from them. But these, I was like, these guys could look kind of good. And then we had one at work, which I bought two week. Um, so I thought maybe I would show you what I bought and then bring out some of my vintage dolls and we'll like compare. So first off at work, I got, now I've pre taken them out of the boxes. It's like I released them from all their plastic. So I got the gold medal, 1975, uh, Malibu. I like a Malibu Barbie. I have a couple. They're never, when I find them, they're never in good shape, ever. So I was like, you know what, she's pretty. So let's get her because she likes Malibu. She comes with a stand and I think the medal, no shoes, which is good because my dolls don't wear shoes. And you know they don't stay in the box. So this is the her. She still has the plastic on. I think she's pretty good. You know, I mean, at work, I don't have, like, a Malibu with me to compare to. But I thought she was pretty good. So I grabbed out probably my second best Malibu because she was down here and the first best is upstairs. Face sculpt, pretty good. Pretty good. Obviously, every Malibu I ever find, her hair is shot. They're always very, very crunchy. And her hair is gorgeous. So I was like, you know what? Not bad. Plus I got her on like sale. So cheap. Pretty happy with her. But she didn't come from the sale. Um, I bought three dolls at the sale. And the first one I will show you is, and I did take her out, the Poodle Parade reproduction, which I think is kind of interesting. So let's get her out. She's like, you know, she's loose. Her shoes and everything. She comes with the shoes and the bag, which is attached to her. Um, I think that little whatever that is, certificate, and the trophy, I don't know. She doesn't come with the dog. So this uh, Poodle Parade reproduction is from, I want to say everything was from like 97 to 99 for the adult collector. Yeah, I don't know. Does it say? 
cute picture on the back. And does it say? I don't even know. Doll cannot stand alone. I don't see it on here. Anyways, um, Poon Parade is one of my very favorite outfits, and I do have a American Girl Barbie that I do like. So I figured she's got the kajinkers in her head. Why do they do that? I just I want to take the scarf off. I'm really bad at getting these off. I do tend to rip things, so. Oh, not good. Not prepared, as usual. This is funny, because I just watched Libby make the, um, Libby's video on her 90s Barbies. Let's fluff her hair out, because I think the American girl needs her hair fluffed. So she's all right, right? You think, okay, her American girl, Barbie, the haircut. But I'm thinking she's not as pretty as my American girl. Hair is kind of thin. I think it's thin. She does have clip knees. They don't... They, yeah. They're kind of cheap. I don't think they feel right. They don't feel right. Let's compare to... I, I did dress my um, American Girl, the only American Girl that I have left, in the pool parade, which mine is in shit condition. So to get this... I might put it on her. Um, I don't know. Like, her face is way more square, I think, than this point face. So if we compare a vintage American girl with a lot more hair, this is a very smoky-looking, kind of softer American girl than a high-color American girl, which I think this is supposed to be. She doesn't look, exactly look right to me. I mean, she, yeah, when I'm standing there, I'm like, yeah, that's supposed to be an American girl, but it's not... It's definitely not the same. I wanted to see... The quality of the clothing, though, because that, which it's all tagged together. What are you doing here, people? So the original, which mine is all faded to hell, is lined, kind of. Yeah, it's lined. And obviously this one is lined. It says American, it says Barbie Reproduction. You have a green zipper. I do have the, um the dicky but it's just trashed you've got everything attached to you why do they do that it goes to see them sunglasses we'll find them later now obviously mine is like softened from you know age but oh, jesus why do they do this i do tend to rip things when i do that just gank it off um Definitely feels a lot newer. But it's lined. Yep. And I would say that the Dicky is made the way the original one was. So it's interesting. I don't think she exactly looks like an American Girl Barbie. But, you know, cute. Cute. Worth it for the clothes. May not keep her unsure. Hence, she came right out of the box. Um, then I got... Let's show this one. This is the twist and turn that was there. Did, worth it for the box art. Look at the box art on this. This is where I think things get a little better. She's wearing oh, Smashroo. Now, I didn't grab Smashroo because I, I have it, but I also have the reproduction one, so it's going to be the same thing. And I don't know if I want to... She's like, she's calling it in here. I don't know if I can get her out. Oh yeah, she'll come out easy. Easy enough. Mm, maybe not with the boots. Girl, I don't want to rip everything. You know, all rough. Get your boots off. The boots are rubber, which is nice. They're squishy boots. Thank you. I appreciate the squishy boots. Here we go. So this is um, a twist and turn Barbie. Let's see. Yep, she snaps. And she has the twist and turn waist, which is nice. The, the clothes are um, really good. Like, they're, they're really, really good. So if I would say to buy them for the vintage outfits. But let's look at her face. She still has all the plastic around her hair. Hair's pretty long. 
So here is a vintage twist and turn. Maybe not exactly the same, but yeah, she looks way more like um, a vintage doll, I think, than the American Girl does. I don't know, my American Girl maybe is a little... I love the American Girl and the Fashion Queen and the Color Magic face sculpt where it's more square. I really do. And the swirl. I'm going to see why in a minute. So I think she's pretty good. Um, the box art is fantastic. She looks she looks like a vintage doll to me. The same way that I got stuff everywhere. I have the um, fair hair reproduction. See, she just slips out of the box. With no shoes. Shoes may be in there somewhere. I don't know. I left all that crap in there. We don't need that. Um, but this is one of my favorite outfits is why I bought her. But she also looks really, really good compared to the vintage. I think she looks good. Like, she looks like a vintage Barbie. And I think that she really does look like a vintage Barbie. I don't know if they're going to let me sell her. That's why I'm kind of like, don't want to take the plastic off her head. Because I think, I don't know if she's staying. Because I do... I do have her. But, like I said, the box art alone is fantastic. So we got her. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's see how stuff starts to pile up. Oh, but the one I really went to get was the commuter set because I don't have this outfit. And look at that box art, dude. Guys, come on. Like, that's gorgeous. And it's like in the same size. Look how prepared I am. I brought out like a midge box. You know what I mean? Like it feels like this is how you buy a Barbie. Um, this one is gorgeous. Yeah. She, what? She's pretty good. I did not like that Barbie in the black. And it comes with, hello. You know, I can't find this. I don't have that. Um, comes with the extra shirt. Is that loose in there? Yeah. Cute. Cute. But this clothing is definitely... Did I lose your glove? Ugh. It's got to be smart. Um, quality. You know what I mean? It feels like quality. Her legs do not feel like a vintage Barbie. They definitely are a little on the rubbery side. But she looks pretty close to me. Let's compare. I only have a swirl to compare her with because um, I don't collect. I only, I only love swirls, and it has to do with, you know, the face sculpt. But she looks pretty good. Like, like she might be a keeper. I don't know. I do like the outfit, so we might keep her for that. I always love the hat. So, yeah, she came home probably to stay. Probably now, especially since I think I lost her glove in the two seconds. <sighs> what else do I have to show you? Oh, we're going to compare this one. And the reason why, like, you know, it's it's definitely different, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a far cry from that one in the black and white bathing suit. She does have those earrings in, which I don't know. I don't know about keeping them in there. And then I brought out... I've had this for a long time, the Color Magic one. Let's compare her, because I think you're going to really see it in this. All right. So this is the Color Magic Reproduction. Like I said, the legs don't feel right to me. And maybe just because they're not all grungy. I don't know. Um, you do get, like, all the stuff with that. It's, it is a nice reproduction set, but I don't know. She does not have the same look to me at all. I have a Color Magic who is a, the factory torso ones. Excuse her legs, they're shot. Let's compare. Like, there's, there's really no comparing. Like, I don't think they're the same at all. No, because I've never, I mean, I've kept her, but she's not one of my favorites. But you can definitely see a difference. Right? So definitely a difference there. This is a much closer comparison than any of the others. This is a different face sculpt. I mean, this is the, probably the closest. 
I would say. Not so much, but I'm definitely keeping these clothes. I'm probably going to sell this one. Because I love her. And these are hard to compare because this is definitely... The swirls have the same face um, sculpt as the Fashion Queens. But I like her. So, yeah, um, that's all I kind of have for this week. Not too much. Short video. Um... Let me know. Do you guys buy the reproduction Barbies? I don't know. Like, I don't know whether to... I could like them. I like them for, because the clothes feel right. Like, they feel well-made. They feel like well-made Mattel, you know, clothes. The dolls definitely look different to me. Definitely. Like, I, like you ain't fooling me with this one. You know what I mean? Like, you're definitely not fooling me. And her hair is very, very soft and, like, fly away. I, I'm not... It feels very cheap. So, let me know. Do you guys collect them? Do you buy them? What do you buy them for? Do you buy them for the clothes? Do you buy them maybe for the shoes or the accessories? Because my poodle parade is shot. Shot. I mean, I would definitely keep the jacket. <laughs> Sell the rest of it. I don't know. I might. Anyways, guys, have a great week. Think about me. I'm putting stinking Christmas up at work. So, you know, miserable. Dark times are upon us, as usual. Winter, it's almost November, which means the month of gray, miserableness, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to go to that estate sale today, which is all antique dolls, and it's been already going on for two days, so maybe I'll just go and see if they have anything left over for cheap, like parts. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on Automata, oh, and I feel like that's where my crafting may go. I really do like I'm kind of like looking around the house going what do I have like to wind up toy that I can take apart I know I think it's like paper mache doll parts make the move I think it could be really fun paper clay paper mache and mechanical parts oh. too many projects no time love you guys have a wonderful week Mwah. from uh, me and <gasps> Have a great day.